Welcome to Subramani. Everybody tells you today that uh, behavioral finance is uh, the new thing, right? I mean, it's become old by now, I guess. Uh, but largely, uh, being wealthy or being rich is not so much about money as it is about mindset. Let me just tell you the difference that I see. I see a young couple, I mean, uh, they must be now 32, 33. And uh, that guy has always been cribbing, saying that I don't have uh, money. But uh, I saw him, uh, he was in a 25 lakh rupee car. And I don't think his CTC is uh, about 25 lakhs perhaps, or slightly under that. Which is not a bad salary, it is a huge salary by Indian standards. But of course, at 35, it's not so great. His wife is also uh, earning, but maybe she's earning a little less. Maybe she's earning about 15 lakhs. So between them, uh, they make 40 lakhs a year, which is very high salary by Indian standards. And they don't seem to be having enough money to buy a house. So just to satisfy their parents, they bought one house in the outskirts of Pune and they are paying an uh, EMI on that. But other than that, they don't have anything to show in terms of assets. Uh, of course, I think he is doing some SIP uh, advised by his sister, who is a banker. And uh, some money he has, but he can't make any big down payments. He can't buy a house in, say, Mumbai for 2 crores, where he has to make a 50 lakh down payment. Extremely doubtful whether he loves 50 lakhs spare cash. What really happens is, when you meet a lot of people, then you see a complete difference in attitude among many of them. So the first uh, person who says that uh, I can't afford it talks more sense than a guy who says, oh, I'll just charge it to my credit card, which means they don't even know that in the credit card they're going to pay something like 42% interest because they're going to pay it only as the minimum EMI, right? Now that is really huge, right? So, yes, so one uh, things like that or an attitude saying, oh, I have tried everything, Mera se kuch nahi hota hai. I can't do anything. Uh, can you make your CV to get a new job? No, actually the work which I do is so different than saying I can't make a CV. You can't make a CV and you still want to be employed. That's That sounds very funny. Spending extra on cars. Then uh, one another amazing thing. Uh, I think uh, investing is too complicated. I don't know how to start and therefore I have not invested. What is your age? 35. What does your dad do? He's just retired from a very big automobile company and uh, how was, what was he doing? He was doing SIPs. If your father was doing SIPs, why can't you copy? I have no clue, right? So largely you see many of these younger people, I mean when I'm saying young, I'm not saying 23 year olds, but even 35 year olds who are perhaps even afraid to start a family because they still think of themselves as kids because they have not organized their financial life so it is intimidating 40 lakhs per annum is not a small salary it is a huge salary for two people put together and you can't buy a house you can't do uh, uh, sips you can't do i mean it, it is quite stunning as far as i am concerned and I meet the other set of kids who say, I can't afford this, right? And they would drive maybe a 8 lakh rupee car or a 7 lakh rupee car. Uh, they would have uh, gas fitted in, uh, which means then they will say, sir, it is cheaper to use my car when I'm going with my family than to use two auto rickshaws or things like that. They get down to such detailing about their lives and you know who is headed where. So you meet one of these kids, so maybe he's earning 20 lakhs compared to this guy's uh, 40 lakhs as a family. Wife is not, wife is staying at home to look after the kid. Uh, his parents are there, her parents uh, need uh, attention, so they have decided to, she decided to quit her job. All that's fine, but they're living comfortably with that 20 lakhs. They've bought a house, they've finished the payments, they've created a retirement corpus. And what is the age? Maybe 35. And I meet both types of people. So I'm convinced about uh, one thing. Uh, when you tell a person, you should be spending the money after finishing your investment. First, you should earn money. Uh, you, anyway, if you're earning a salary, it is anyway post checks. And then you should invest and you should spend whatever is left. 
now depending on the reply that i get i know on which path he is headed if he says that and we believes that and he does that he's clearly headed for uh, creating his retirement corpus maybe by 45 47 or he's the other person is just going to work much longer for his uh, retirement right so first thing is that and second thing which i also think is important is uh buying too big a house and buying too many cars or and too big cars uh, right so you find people who are, who will keep saying that they want to do business and uh, things like that but in the meanwhile keep on buying toys which to me looks like an impediment to their retirement you have to be very clear whether you want your retirement or you want your toys you cannot have both that is the only thing which a financial planner can tell you a financial planner cannot make your money go longer a blogger cannot make your money go longer but i can tell you one thing if you go and buy yourself a brand new camera costing 4 and 1/2 lakhs you have perhaps delayed your retirement by 6 months 8 months or 1 year whatever you have delayed it i am not saying don't buy that camera there are good cameras available if you are a good photographer and you want all the equipment go ahead buy it but do you justify uh, buying a 4 lakh or a 4 and 1/2 lakh rupee camera for an amateur photographer i doubt it i am sure a 30000 rupee camera or a 50000 rupee camera can do that job as well especially if you're an amateur yes as you get older in life and you've created all your corpuses you have kids you have paid for their education you have repaid your home loans that you're sitting with lot of cash at that stage so it's something which is an indulgence which can be done at a later stage rather than uh, buying luxury products on credit cards and paying as emi <coughs> so expensive toys uh, bigger cars than what you need Uh, don't say that oh when my parents come from uh, my native place or from bangalore and i am in bombay i need a bigger car to pick them up from the airport and i need more boot space because they will have baggage this is nonsense just for husband and wife going around a small car will do and on days when you have to go to the airport or come from the airport you can always hire a ola or a uber or a regular taxi whatever it's not so difficult so don't fool yourself by buying a bigger car and the uh, and a bigger house i think the problem is the way we compensate our brokers for the broker it makes sense to keep increasing the size of our budget and also family has this habit of saying are when you are buying you might as well buy a 3 bhk because uh, you are going to buy only one house why do you want to buy a 2 bhk honestly when you are young when if you are buying your house in your 20s all you need is a 1 bhk once you have kids maybe you go and buy a 2 bhk then if your parents move in with you uh then you buy a 3 bhk beyond 3 bhk is indulgence don't do it until your uh, retirement plan is in place once your retirement plan is in place you can do whatever you want so maybe by 45 if your retirement plan is in place the amount is more or less in place and you are very confident that next 15 years both of you are going to retain your jobs and you are going to be able to contribute whatever is left that's a great time to be moving into a 4 bhk assuming you uh, are not making any you are not taking any loan i don't think it's a very sensible decision at that stage to take a loan so <clears throat> with this kind of uncertainty in the market don't take loans beyond a particular age and be stuck with it so uh, maybe you sell off some shares and uh, some mutual funds and buy the fourth bedroom otherwise three bedroom is enough until your retirement corpus is clearly in place maybe a million dollars maybe 10 crores whatever is your requirement keep that in place and after that you can do all this so basically two things uh earn invest and then spend right so eip uh, or eis second don't buy uh, expensive toys third your car should be pulled as much as you can can you use it for 11 years instead of 5 can you use it for 7 years instead of 5 that should matter and buy a car absolutely minimum which you need to use because given the cities like mumbai bangalore and even pune 
uh, there is not enough parking available so why would you want to park a bigger car and have on the day that uh, you need a bigger car you can always hire a bigger car so it is not necessary to own a big car right similarly it is not necessary to buy a 3 bhk when you already need just as a 2 bhk if you are just married and uh, you don't have a kid you have maybe decided not to have kids you may not need a 3 bhk at all a 2 bhk will work perfectly fine because either her parents are going to visit you or your parents are going to visit you and so one spare uh, bedroom is available for the visiting parent or a si visiting sibling or a visiting friend you do not need a 3 bhk if you have decided not to have children right so don't do this don't buy assets beyond your immediate need whenever you want a, a bigger house you can always sell this house and buy a bigger house or sometime when you have a lot of guests coming maybe four guests coming and five guests coming a club membership will, should allow you to put them uh, up in your club right so think of those kind of solutions get your retirement plan in place get your wealth plan in place get your attitude right and uh, you're done so wealth is more about an attitude than an amount of money so there can be a 5 crore rupee net worth person who does not have any orientation towards wealth but he may have inherited that money and there could be somebody who's got much lesser money but got a better orientation towards wealth who will go and create his own 5 crores thank you